In this second uh, part of the, the discussion, and we're going to have a, a few, few parts to the discussion, um, I want us to think a little bit about the lyrics. So the first song that we might want to pay attention to, it's a, the, the album, of course, is in two parts. Um, albums had two sides. Uh, the vinyl would have two sides, and so you'd play them as two sides. And it's one of the one of the phenomena of technology that presented itself in a certain kind of way. You've got two sides uh, to to the recording, and 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 therefore the artists wanted to take advantage of this idea that there are two sides, and one could who have different styles of music on both, you know, one side or the other, or have a conception that flows between, you know, one album, one one side to the other, and so on. Um, and so that becomes a phenomenon. It's very different from how we consume music today and we encounter music today. Um, we don't encounter albums in t with two sides unless we are we are sort of retro people who are interested in in vinyl. Uh, but to a large extent, we consume whole albums um, in a in a back to back fashion. You know, it just begins and ends. There's no sort of dividing line. Or in many instances, we don't even encounter albums. We don't think of albums. We think of uh, solo, you know, so what what we'd call individual tracks, and um, and eventually they will just come together as as compilation tracks. In hip hop, there are all these different versions released at different points, um, and so you know the, the 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 way we consume music, whether it's on YouTube, you know, iTunes, or it's on Spotify and so on, is is a little different from the the physical idea of buying an album, putting it on the turntable. And then proceeding to, uh, proceeding to then listen to it um, as this this completed thing, you know, this thing that is that you've purchased and that you're going to listen to, uh, and and pay attention to. Um, so, Concrete Jungle is the first song, Concrete Jungle, and of course, the Concrete Jungle refers to to Kingston. The lyric is very interesting. No sun will shine on my day today. The high yellow moon won't come out to play. Darkness has covered my life and has changed my day into night. Where is that love to be found? Won't someone help me? Because life must be somewhere to be found instead of this concrete jungle. So Mali sets up the concrete jungle in direct opposition, juxtaposition to what he calls life. And, and, and the picture, he paints this picture. It's a, it's a very, very sort of poetic articulation of a place and a time and an emotional place. They're all tied together. No sun will shine on my day to day. And then he describes the high yellow moon won't come out to place. So these elements of light, these elements of natural light have been taken away. Darkness has covered my life and has changed my day into night. Where is that? quest that he's looking for, which is love. Where is that love to be found? So in a sense, but Mali, the love singer, is the singer who sings about love. Uh, but yet in this way, love, the absence of love, is a function of the poverty and the struggle of living in the concrete jungle where he says the living is hardest, um, where, where you've got to do your very best. The next verse then says, no chains around my feet, but I'm not free. And of course, that's a direct reference to slavery and to the, the idea of being shackled and then chained. And of course, he is in fact quoting um, from, 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 from Marcus Garvey um, a, a, a conception and an idea which Mali would then come back 20, you know, 10 years later, 11 years later, when he writes when he writes Re Redemption Song. And in Redemption Song, he says, he, 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 the, 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 the lyric itself is, um, is, is about, you know, our, our, you know, your brain, your mind, only, only, only our, only, only our minds freed will actually bring us freedom. So in this lyric, he says, no chains around my feet, but I'm not free. I know I'm bound here in captivity, and I never know what happiness is. I never know what sweet caress is. And I'll be always laughing like a clown. Won't someone help me? Because I've got to pick myself from off the ground in this concrete jungle where the living is hardest.
the, 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 of course, it is a, in a sense, despite this despair that he's articulating, despite this sense that he's still in a slaved space, an enslaved space, he says, he says, the hope is I've got to pick myself from off the ground in this concrete jungle where the living is hardest. Now, one of the interesting things is the dialogue between the backup singers, or the, the singers, which is Bonnie Whaler and Peter Tosh, and of course, the lead singer, Bob Marley, right? So, no chains around my feet, but I'm not free. No, I'm not free. I know I'm bound here in captivity. And then, I never know what happiness is. Never know, never know, never know. Never know what sweet caress is. Yes, I'll be always laughing like a clown. Won't someone help me? Because I have got to pick myself from off the ground in this concrete jungle where the living is hardest. Concrete jungle where you've got to be the very best. And of course, the, 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 the trail out is concrete jungle. You name it, we've got it in this concrete jungle. So, summary and thinking about it. Here's the opening of this album. This is, this is the, the first salvo of Bob Marley. There's no reference note to Selassie, to God. Even though these men are Rastafarians and they're committed to their belief system, it will come later. It will come later. It will come later in this album to some extent, but much later on in Marley's oeuvre. But yet, there's this idea that nature is conspiring against the individual. Because the absence of light, the absence of the good light, is what the ghetto is, what the concrete jungle is. Mali never romanticized the ghetto. He, he never romanticized the hardships of living uh, in, 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 a, in a world that, is, that has these elements of poverty. Never romanticized it, but yet felt a connection to it in songs like Trench Town, uh, where he sings, they say, can anything good come out of Trench Town? He says, we come from Trench Town. So Marley may not romanticize this tough space in Kingston, but he understands it to be the making of him and the development of him and the identity of him. So. First song, Concrete Jungle. The next song, Slave Driver. And the lyric is, Slave Driver, your table is turned. Catch a fire, you're gonna get burned. Oh, 